Hey guys, how are we doing today? I'm Ronnie George and welcome back to a brand new video. And for this video, it's going to be the WWE 2K17 My Career with the face that runs the fucking place, Desi. Now, basically, last episode we faced Samoa Joe. I would go and recommend to watch it. I don't know how we didn't put him out, but that's what I'm going to say. Next up is the South promo tutorial, and uh, it basically says, We are going to let you cut your first promo today. It's just you in the ring talking to get the best score possible. Your trainer will pretend to be the crowd. Try and get a strong reaction out of the WWE Universe. Okay, let's go, shall we? The best WWE superstars are more than top-level athletes. They are masters of the microphone. Give me a hell yeah! How you doing? You want some? Finally! The WWE Universe is larger than life, and you need to be larger than life as well to win over the crowd. If you smell! Will you be their hero? What the rock is cooking! Or will you give them a villain they can believe in? I didn't need you to win the title, and I don't need you to get it back. Just as it is in the ring, Idiot. sometimes words themselves become the battlefield. There's only one word to describe you. You have never beaten me. Because you can't beat me. Because I am better than you. Or you may find yourself squaring off with the authority itself. Now I'm the authority. You see, you don't own them. You will respect me because I will be the face of your company. But no matter how you decide to cut your promo, one rule holds true. Go big or go home. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass in the million. The chill is here. Okay, being a WWE superstar is not just about being a good wrestler. You have to be charismatic. We're going to let you do your first promo today. We'll pretend to be the crowd. If I can give you one piece of advice, every crowd in every city is different. Putting on a good promo is all about working the crowd. Keep that in mind today. So it looks like I've got to work the crowd. I've got to keep those wrestling marks on their fucking toes. Obviously. I have no idea I'm going to... I don't... I, I'm shit. I think I'm good at promos, but I'm not good. This shows your first four choices during the promo. The WWE Universe will react differently based on what you pick. Hold R2 to access your mic ability skills. Obviously, we don't have any yet, I believe. Um... I'm going to say, obviously we've got a time meter as well, this is a promo HUD, so basically promo performance, face or heel, yeah I kind of understand that. Uh, four different crowd types, family friendly, hardcore, respectable and disrespectable, on any given night the crowd can be easily one of the four crowds, obviously I read that wrong. Different crowds like different types of promos to score big, you have to match your choices with the crowd type. You can also win by doing the opposite and trying to get a strong negative reaction from the crowd. Okay. You gain bonus points for putting together a cohesive promo. This means not switching back and forth between getting the crowd behind you and then getting them to boo you. Alright. Uh, I'm going to say wondering why I'm here. Poor choice. You're probably wondering why I'm out here right now, why I went up to the sound guy, told him to play my music, walked down that aisle, slapped a few hands, got in here and picked up this microphone. Not the best first start choice though. Do you know what I mean? But, don't worry about it, everything's going to be okay. There seems to be a trend going on around here lately. 
the more paint chips you eat, the more you get noticed. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not just another lemming looking for someone to tell me what to do. I'm a WWE superstar, and superstars carve their own path to greatness. And if nobody around here notices me, I'm going to do something to make them notice. That was a fucking sick little uh, promo to cut there. The authority gets an F for their behavior. Yeah, for some reason, the authority has been grading scale on how they perceive... No, no, perceive, perceive superstars. Basically, if you're pro-authority, you're an A player. Anti-authority, you're a B plus. Well, allow me to give out a big fat old F to the authority for the biased behavior and awful grading system. When it comes to the in-ring performances, I, I am and I always will be A plus pretty good mostly face though and i right now mostly face everyone loves a face promo don't they come on not really kind of depends uh i've earned the yeah the authority can't lead i guess the authority are a joke they have no idea how to run a business let alone a locker room ratings are down superstars are injured at this rate there may be no longer WWE in a few years. This place is turning into Titanic, and I have no plans of going down with the ship. Now, that is literally a shoot. Like, it's legit what everyone's saying, isn't it? Like, when, like, you know, big superstars got injured, ratings were down, and they were. And to kind of rub salt on the wound, saying that the WWE is going to be no longer in a few years is amazing. Love that. Last word. The last word lets you lets you know when a promo is about to end. Use this to your advantage and try and get a higher score possible. The last word could be, it's because of the fans that I'll exceed. I'm done talking. It's time for action. I don't care. I know If I don't get what I want, I'll just quit. I am here to make an impact. I mean, I'm obviously going to probably say I'm here to make an impact. Because, you know, that's what I need to do, in my opinion. I'm here to make an impact. That's what I'm going to go for. Good choice. I really don't have much left to say. I hope the authority was listening tonight, or I hope one of their stews... No, what's it? Was Stooges, that's the one, was translating for what I said with short words. I'm here to stay, and I'm here to make an impact. So either get used to it, or challenge me and find out what happens. To be fair, I thought that was a pretty solid promo. I kind of kept on track a bit with the authority. There's no point like saying something about the authority and then saying I'm great, and then all this, you know what I mean? Keep it simple it made sense what i was saying so that's how i see it a very very good promo by me to be honest i know it was a face promo but still i thought it was good nonetheless and apparently i love to talk which i do very very much kid you're a natural next week we'll really see what you're made of so be ready and be sure to practice up Okay then, guys, so it looks like we have a promo tutorial versus Enzo Amore. Today you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the WWE's best talkers, Enzo Amore. You are going to be in a battle of wits with him and try to get the best score possible. Good luck. Now, to be honest, I might get ripped to shreds here, but I might as well go down fighting. Let's see what we can do against Enzo, shall we? As you can see, Enzo over there is already ready to go. Today you'll be putting on a promo against him. These promos are all about outwitting your opponent and wowing the crowd. Today, I'll play the part of the crowd, so wow me, kid. Okay then, let's, let's, let's see what we can do. Obviously, I wouldn't mind to beat Enzo here. I might have to go heal because Enzo's a face. I don't know. Do I start off first? I do. Uh, I'm yeah, that do. Poor choice. You're out here talking your nonsense, and I'm sitting back there thinking to myself, why am I sitting through this dri? I can't fucking speak, lads. Why am I sitting through this drivel? Drivel? I'm sure everyone else is thinking the same, but me. I wanted a few people that are willing to do something about it. Now, I know that's not the best start in the world, but someone's got to put Enzo in his place. Now, I'm probably going to get ripped to shreds here. I know I am. I just have that feeling. Do you know what I mean? You know when you have that feeling? And he says, I'm sorry, can you speak a little bit louder? 
I was too busy listening to the electric crowd to understand the whiny dribbling spitting out of your mouth. Seriously, it sounds like an orchestra of dogs singing for a bone. Come on, say your piece and let's get this over with already. Pretty simple, really. Basically told me to shut the fuck up and let me, uh... Well, yeah, Tom, yeah. Yeah. I've got to basically just get to straight to the point, I guess. Let's give the WWE Universe what they want. What do you say, pal? You want to do this or what? Let's give the WWE Universe what they want. I mean, it it's not bad. It wasn't an, it was it was a better choice than the first one. That's all I can really say. So, I'm quite happy with that one to be fair. How long does it take you to do this, mate? Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on, Desbra. Let's recap. You dress yourself, put both feet, both, both boots on the right feet, found your way to the ring and insulted me. Big day for you. Now, what are you going to do? Because unless you plan on knocking me out cold, everything you said is going to cost you. Okay. Okay. That's, um... Alright. Are you courageous or just stupid? Poor choice, I know, fuck's sake. I don't know whether to attribute the words coming out of your mouth to encourage or to encourage or stupidity. Either way, it makes no difference. I'm publicly requesting that the authority grant me my wish and give me the opportunity to stuff each one of those words back down your throat. So now I've just said about the authority, now I'm gonna go to the authority and say all this shit to them. Really? Come on, Desi, bruh, come on. Gotta do better than that. We can we can talk in circles all night. I'm sure you prefer that. Me, I don't like to talk. I like to bash goals in, so why don't you give old Papa what he wants and we'll wait or what? You want to run because I'll find you, I always do. Now personally I felt like what he's just said he doesn't like to talk, yet he does like to talk. So he's contradicting himself that he's supposed to be a good talker. Ah, uh, whatever. That was really weak. Really? Really? That's what you have to say? That's really weak. Like, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being really impressive, that was a negative 4. I am not impressed. I guess I was expecting too much from you. As the saying goes, expectations leads to disappointment. And colour me disappointed. Now, personally, again, I thought that was a good... I thought that was good. I don't see what the problem is there again, but I've completely fucked up this promo performance, I think, anyway. Maybe just me. I'm gonna have to save this here. You know where you are? No, you know, no, sorry. You know what you are, tough guy. Maybe you got a little bit, maybe, maybe you got a little lost backstage and ended up in the wrong place. And you're in my ring, this is my house, and I don't let uninvited guests into my house. What are you fucking some, what are you Paige now? Are you, have you just turned, like am I speaking to Paige now? Like is this a thing? Like what's going on? I know she's suspended but come on lad. Like just, you know what I mean? Like yeah, weird. Very very weird. Last word? Surely. Enough of your weaseling you giant chicken. You just a sleeping sheep. And the roster crow crowning that is to wake up it's time to wake up because I'm a big bad wolf and I'm ready to strike. It's a regular barnyard bonanza in these parts. Yeehoo. What the fuck is that? What is going on here? Anyone know what's going on here? I don't, I, I, it's either I can't talk, which I probably can't, but still. I think it's supposed to say Rooster George, I think. I think that's what it's supposed to say. I just got completely just effed up there, pretty much. All right, kid, we made our decision. We're going to think of a persona together and start you off at NXT in the tag team division. Tag team division? This will you... allow you to work on your wrestling and your character without the risk of falling flat on your face. Are you mad? This is it. Your career in NXT starts now. I don't mind going to NXT. It's just the fact that I have to be in a tag team.
that's my only problem I have here. I'm just saying, like, it would have been nice to go up to the main roster straight away on my own. The promo performance didn't help that I lost to Enzo, and I also lost to Samoa Joe. Doesn't really help matters at all, does it? But still, I'm on NXT. I've At least I'm on some sort of show, I guess. I mean, NXT is obviously where you want to be, really, when you start off. But, um, yeah, I suppose NXT is quite good, I guess. I can't really complain. Good job on completing the tutorial. Here is 8,000 virtual coins, I'm assuming they are. So we will be going into the old uh, NXT. So I'll be working Wednesdays and Thursdays, and obviously house shows if they feel like it, but you never know. There are many paths to superstardom in the WWE. Will you take the high road? Try to win over the WWE Universe. Or will you turn the WWE Universe against you? I don't need any of you. Will you make it to the top of the WWE via hard work and effort? The impossible dream has become reality. Or will you take shortcuts? path you choose the most important thing is to make it memorable oh my god make the universe remember your name austin 316 says i just whipped your if you see me what the rock is cooking and make them look forward to your match every week who will you become So then guys, this is, as, this, this is basically like the home screen obviously, and it says here, this section shows your match for the night, prepare for, what it, for, for what's ahead of upgrading your attributes, abilities and skills. This section gives you all the information you need about your superstar, overall rating, fan popularity there, VC there, and basically ex character excitement shows how the WWE Universe perceives you, the WWE Universe can, can either be hot or cold with you. This changes based on how good or bad your matches are and promos are, along amongst other things. Just remember to always engage with the WWE Universe. When character excitement is hot, you will gain popularity faster. When it's cold, you begin to lose popularity. That's fine. Face or heal me. Oh, we know all about that stuff. Basically, depends pretty much. But um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to leave the episode here. But as you can see, that my current tag team partner is actually going to be Lance Alexander. Or L Lalix. L Lalix? Uh, Lance just, just Lance, isn't it? Just call him Lance, shall we? Um, but I'm basically going to end the episode here, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new on here. And I'll speak to you guys very soon. Guys, have a good day and goodbye.